What is up, beautiful people? My name is Philip Song, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. Day 15 of uploading every day in December. I know day 14 was uploaded today, but the processing, I don't know what's going on, man. It was literally on 99% for like an hour, and that kind of pissed me off, but whatever. I'm just chilling right now. Um, I don't really know what to talk to you guys about. Today's been pretty hectic, had a lot of meetings, a lot of like cleaning up. I'm going to a Christmas party in a little bit and yeah, so what 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 do you what do you guys want to talk about? I guess one thing that I want to talk about is like what how far I've come, you know, in this year. And I know it's not, you know, the end of the year yet, but like how far I've come, you know, throughout this whole journey of my life and like I've lived a full year in Atlanta and um, moving here kind of by myself it was a little bit tough getting the new job um, getting used to everything that was tough but it's like you know you you live and you learn and you make a lot of mistakes I made a lot of mistakes and now you know, just being able to recognize that and being a better version of myself. So it's like, what what have I accomplished in 2023? What are the things that I'm proud of? Um, one, or I guess two, is uh, competing in two powerlifting competitions. I think that is absolutely crazy. I had, again, if you told Philip few years ago that he was going to compete in a powerlifting competition he would have said you're absolutely stupid because philip hasn't even touched a barbell at all in years so i was super happy about that competing um and it like powerlifting the gym has definitely changed my life so that is definitely a big accomplishment that i did getting out of my comfort zone with that second is losing over 70 pounds i mean during my second powerlifting competition, I did the 75 hard challenge doing that and kind of lost a lot of weight. I definitely wasn't the strongest, but was very determined, very disciplined, no cheat meals, working out every day, reading, drink a gallon of water, taking progress pick, they, like stuff like that. Like I didn't, I didn't know I was capable of doing and I was able to successfully do that. And you know, it. I lost 70 pounds compared to like my heaviest I was to my lowest point. My lowest point was 158 pounds when I stepped on that platform, which is absolutely insane. And I don't think I've ever been 158 pounds. Um, like probably last time was when I was in middle school. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, fitness, those are like big fitness kind of accomplishments that I made. And again, super proud of you know how I was able to do that and push myself forward and challenging myself I think that has been like the biggest accomplishment helped me uh, physically and mentally and spiritually uh, but what other what other compliments uh, uh, accomplishments do I have uh, didn't really do a whole lot uh, I mean besides that oh I guess uh, jujitsu I was able to get my third strike in in that um, super happy about that I was a one strike blue belt and then out of nowhere we got promotions and I thought like I kind of knew I was gonna get promoted to one strike but then my coach put two stripes on my belt and I was like what the heck like I didn't expect that at all and you know super crazy super grateful and I do miss like Jiu-jitsu, I miss being on the mat rolling. It was just such a good time. Like literally I would go to the gym, lift, and then roll, you know, with my friends. And I built so much, so many connections through that. And it kind of sucks that it had to come to an end, but you know, hopefully in the future, I'll be able to pick it, pick back up and, you know, hope maybe do some competitions. We'll, we'll see, but I suck right now because I have not done it in, in a while. So definitely need to train for that. But three stripes on my blue belt like that's pretty pretty insane um what else I'm trying to think again i don't really plan these videos i just kind of think on what's on the top of my head um i had a few other 
accomplishments, but I guess I didn't accomplish a lot, really. Um, oh, YouTube. Like, starting a YouTube channel and doing all these shorts, videos for you guys. And we are at 423 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. My end of the year goal is to have 500. I don't think that's going to happen, but it doesn't matter, like me getting out of my comfort zone, putting myself out there to the whole world because I am introverted and posting these videos for you guys, making this content. I mean, it's been fun. Like, I love it. I love doing it. And having 423 subscribers in, you know, I forgot when I started. I think it was like February or March, but like in those, in that time frame is absolutely insane. And I appreciate you guys following along with my journey. I have you know more ideas to come kind of for the next year a lot of video ideas so so just putting that out there putting it in fruition but yeah that that is another kind of big goal or a big accomplishment that i've made so i think those are really the main ones and if i have anything else i'll probably you know post it later or whatnot but again like life isn't perfect you're gonna hit bumps along the way but it's all about are you willing to pick yourself back up and are you willing to change? Don't let everything around you change you. Change your output to the world, basically. You know, when I was a team manager at my college basketball team, he said there's only three things you can control. Whether it's on the, on the court or um, in life, and that's your attitude, your work ethic, and your focus. And if you work on those three things, then you will be the most successful person, you know, on the court or in life, you know, there's so many outli outlying factors. Yeah. Outlying factors that you just can't control and you just have to roll with the punches, pick yourself back up and keep moving forward. And that's kind of what I did and still trying to do. So I encourage everybody to do that. And I promise you life is going to get better. Everything happens for a reason. Just don't give up. So a lot to accomplish, again, still working on myself, uh, a lot of things that I need to kind of fix and tweak, but you know, everybody starts somewhere. So appreciate you guys so much. Please like, comment, subscribe until the next one. Peace.